Hey, this is Chris from Ren Collective. Um, we're just uh, here to talk today a little bit about the whole idea of authenticity. Uh, it's something that's been on our hearts since the very beginning of Rand. You know, if you don't know anything about where we came from, we actually started almost as a kind of Bible study stroke prayer group stroke evangelism team of like people age 17 through to about 30. Uh, we just meet together in this little sports hall that wasn't fancy at all. We would sit on carpet samples that we had taken from the local uh, hardware store. And uh, yeah, basically it, it was a very raw version of church. It was a very raw version of Christianity. And to be honest, it was a really special time in all of our lives. But the one thing it totally was missing was uh, any element of polish or stage or lights or anything like that. So I guess for us, we actually came from a background of almost seeing the kind of mega church thing as though it was kind of scary. <laughs> um, the lights and the stage and all the all the stuff was like, I guess we, we found it kind of distracting. Uh, we didn't really get it. And so we released this album called Campfire, which is almost the exact opposite of the experience that you have at the big mega church or the big conference. Uh, we went out onto the beach in Northern Ireland, uh, which is always a risk, frankly. The weather, it's not suitable. Um, but yeah, we went out there, we worshiped together, we sang songs, we used only acoustic instruments, we played in a folk style, which always kind of speaks to authenticity, doesn't it? It's kind of music of the people. And, uh, you know, we had this amazing time with God and it seemed to really resonate with the church at large. I guess maybe everybody was kind of burned out on the whole show, part of church. And, uh, you know, for a while we thought, well, this is, this is kind of awesome. Uh, we love that people are, are coming around to this way of worship. But something that we're really learning and that we have learned is that authenticity isn't a style of worship. It's a state of heart. Let me talk to you about a couple of passages from the Bible that kind of describe very authentic, very profound experiences of God. So there's this one time whenever Elijah is waiting on the presence of God and uh, this wind rushes past him, this crazy hurricane style wind. And Elijah kind of makes the realization that the Lord wasn't in that. Then what follows is an earthquake that kind of shakes the ground, shakes into the core. But he realizes that God's not in that either. And then there's this fire that kind of comes from nowhere out of the ground and uh, he doesn't see God in that either. But what happens is that he then hears this gentle whisper and he realizes that the Lord is in that. And that, that's where he finds his encounter. So the temptation here is for us to go, well that passage means that God doesn't meet us in the spectacular, but he meets us in the tender whisper. That's what we're gonna be tempted to think. But then we're gonna skip on to Acts chapter two. A lot of the same stuff's kinda of happening actually. There's a, there's a rushing wind, uh, meets with the people of God. There's uh, tongues of fire resting on people in this mysterious way. And people are speaking in new languages. All the stuff is happening. But this time God is 100% in all the stuff. Like, it's almost like God is using divine pyrotechnics and kind of exploding into the life of the early church. And uh, I guess if you'd only ever read that passage, you would kind of think, well, God only ever shows up in the spectacular. And the truth is what we need to get from this is that authentic encounters with God are nothing to do with style. <laughs> They're to do with heart. Our God never wants to be boxed into one kind of experience. He doesn't want us to box him into just campfire style worship, but he can totally show up whenever we have the lights and the stuff and the panda suits. Yes, I said panda suits. You need to check out our video for you will never run if you don't understand what I'm talking about. It's kind of crazy. But yes, God can totally meet with us in the middle of, of all the stuff. He's not anti-professional. Uh, authentic isn't just a word that means the opposite of professional. Those two things can go together. Our God is a God of excellence, as much as he is a God who will meet with a child who is writing their very first song on a xylophone that they have. He will meet with 
the guy who's writing a Carl thing. You can tell I'm a real musician. A Carl thing um, for his uh, church at large. You know, he, he meets with us in whatever. He's the God of everything. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. Every single space in this world is sacred ground and he's happy to show up and have authentic encounters with us. But I guess what I'm trying to say is that it's lovely to do the stripped down thing, but we have to be sure that we don't just become like the new millennial version of that person at church who refuses to believe that we can worship God with anything but hymns and the organ. We have to not become just a new version of that where we won't allow God to move through electric guitar and keypads and 80s music. Uh, we have to realize that God can use everything. And that really what, at the end of the day, what we're looking for is a state of heart. Authenticity is not a style of worship, it's a state of heart. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. If you want to read the real version of this without the, um, the meandering talking, uh, we have a blog up on our website, rencollective.com. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in.